Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. This is Queen 6 News at 10 here on Portland CW. I'm Elizabeth Din. Jeff has the night off. And we begin with efforts to find crucial solutions as opioid overdoses claim the lives of hundreds of Oregonians each year. Lawmakers are trying to pass a bill to save lives. House Bill 2395 makes life-saving treatments like the opioid overdose reversal, Narcan, much more available in places like public buildings, public buildings like schools, restaurants, grocery stores, and police departments. It removes all liability to anyone who is in good faith trying to revive someone. It de decriminalizes fentanyl test strips and pipes, which lawmakers say either prevent people from accidentally taking fentanyl or from overdosing altogether. Overall, this allows the state to provide the opioid reversal treatments. This bipartisan bill has passed the House 48 to 9. It does have to make it through the Senate. We did send Elise Haas to check into this further for you. Good evening, Elise. Liz, so drugs like fentanyl are more potent than ever before. And according to the health authority, Oregonians are dying on a daily basis from opioid overdoses. Meanwhile, doctors say things like Narcan are safer than giving somebody Tylenol. And they say that it's not even harmful to give it to somebody even when they aren't overdosing. So the lawmakers really like in this bill and the approach of it to widen and expand access to opioid reversal medicine to things like AEDs and CPR, meaning they want everybody to be able to have access to it and know how to use it in an emergency. Opiates have taken so much from my family. As Oregonians struggle with losing loved ones to overdoses. We must do everything in our power to minimize the risk to our children and to our communities. Representative Maxine Dexter championed the opioid harm reduction bill to improve access to overdose reversal treatments like Narcan and other tools like fentanyl test strips, which can be used to prevent someone from accidentally taking the deadly drug. There's no recovery in death. And what these tools do is it keeps people alive. And we need to do all that we can to make sure that people have the opportunity to get into recovery who want it. We have free haircuts at 5 too. Addiction and homeless outreach workers want lawmakers to focus on working upstream. Harm reduction is important. Narcan is important. I just want to see those conversations balanced out where we're talking about treatment and infrastructure, awareness and education. Crystal Delahanty was addicted to heroin for decades. Now in her recovery, she's made it her life's work to help others struggling with addiction on Portland streets. I will tell you 100% that I have conversations all of the time where somebody just wants to get into treatment. And sometimes the only thing I can hand them is Narcan. And that breaks my heart. While she's not against harm reduction efforts like House Bill 2395, she hopes lawmakers start pushing for more preventative action. We are fully aware of our failure to supply enough opportunity for treatment. Representative Dexter says lawmakers are committed to correcting the lack of treatment, but that good change takes time. While her bill won't solve the opioid crisis, she and her supporters say it will save lives. And this has passed the House, and of course it still needs to go on to the Senate, and it could take until April until the Senate gets to be able to vote on it. We will follow that closely, but lawmakers say that if it does end up passing the Senate, that it could take effect pretty swiftly. Reporting live in Portland, Elise Haas, Queen 6 News.